Hey, what is up, guys? This is Corbo. Welcome to a replay starting off here on round two of a replay between Mr. Conclusion and Rooster PB. And the reason I picked this replay is because, dude, this is a strat that is dominating right now, and people are really, really struggling to counter it for the time being. I'm sure people will figure it out eventually, but dudes, going quick supply specialist when you have a tarantula opener and just quad dumping some tarantulas right away on round one. Now that phoenixes are no longer part of the starting unit pool, it's so, so difficult to kind of uh, counteract this, right? Phoenixes, if they were in the starting unit pool, it would be like an S tier unit right now, but they are not. And so tarantulas are able to just get such an amazing start. I think way, way better than people were expecting. Uh, when they f uh, first laid eyes on the unit and they're creating all kinds of problems dude so let's see how this one turns out and then i'm gonna jump into a replay of my own that i shot just a little bit earlier going some kind of like soft carry style tarantulas too and um yeah it's gonna be sweet so of course mr rooster does have the steel balls on field which you're gonna do a pretty solid job at shutting down the very aggro position tarantulas especially given that there's like no chaff protecting these guys right now it's a little bit risky uh coming out from blue to not protect the tarantulas so much on that second round right there. I should also mention as well that, of course, Rooster is playing a little bit of Giant Specialist. Um, we also had a flank and Rhino coming out from blue there that I totally missed. And sorry about that, boys. <laughs> Trying to get used to the new replay viewer, okay? That's my uh, that's my excuse. Oh, man, I also love that I can take over and restart the current turn now on this new replay viewer down here. Oh, my God, dude. That's going to be so cool. It's going to be so awesome. Okay, anyways... Speeding things up. The Tarantula God conclusion is actually going to drop round two. So he's coming back from a little bit like won the round one, as we can tell by the health uh, totals. Loses the round two, so it's nothing like, it's not like a snowball game. But let me tell you something, when I played Quick Supply Specialist, I um, really, really like the Phoenix pickup here for Rooster, by the way. It's perfect. Um, but when I played Quick Supply Specialist Tarantula, it was a... Flawless victory. One in like five rounds, dude. It's crazy. You know what? You know what else, man? I think it's especially crazy. Um, the quadruple tarantula opener. Because if you win the first round, and you probably will win the first round, you can deal like 800 damage immediately, right? Because it's not like it's not like you're opening up with like quad sledgehammers or quad mustangs where you can lose half of the unit but still win the round. And, uh, but then you deal reduced damage, right? Because you lost half of the Mustangs, so you lost half of the Sledgehammers. With a Tarantula, if it's alive on 5%, that's 200 damage. You know, it's kind of crazy. Uh, I can sort of see them reducing, um, maybe nerfing the amount of damage that Tarantulas deal in the first few rounds or something. Lower it to like 100 damage or 150 damage or something. Uh, the fact that you can deal 800 damage on round one is kind of insane to me. Anyways, man. Fire badges come down. It's just a safe choice. We also get some fangs coming down here just to act as the initial front line against the steel balls now, which is great. And just going to protect up these tarantulas. What tech options is Conclusion running? Uh, I've not seen anybody go the spider mines, by the way. Actually, I'm, I'm telling a lie. I've seen one guy uh, pick the spider mines so far today after like eight games or something. Uh, so people are not really feeling them. I'm not feeling them either. Uh, back on the beta server when the tarantulas were still in testing and I was testing them out. Uh, they used to spawn like six or seven spider mines, but they were much, much squishier, you know. Um, that was cool. They reduced it down to two spider mines and I just don't see people picking it up all that much since. Anyways, men, the tarantulas, even against level two steel balls, will eventually get these guys down. Their rate of fire is quite impressive. We will lose building down here in the bottom right, which may start to turn the tides for our blob over here just a little bit. That said, there's still a good amount of fangs and just chaff left alive in the middle of the blob over here. And that's just going to slow down the phoenixes in particular from connecting on any particularly amazing targets. They're just now going to start to plink down the bulk of the tarantulas. Are the three maximum here going to be enough to get these phoenixes dead? This is actually going to be really, really tight. Let me speed this up just slightly. Yes, it is going to be enough in the end. Okay. Oi, 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 oi. Cool. Very nice. Awesome. Oh, I just realized I don't actually have my game music turned on. I've not actually heard the new music just yet. It's kind of crazy. I'll just stick to the StarCraft music for the time being. Maybe in the next game that I break down, I'll uh, activate the music and we'll see what that's all about. Hopefully it doesn't copyright strike me on YouTube. Okay, anyways. Tarantula. Now level 2. Looking solid. They have great stats, by the way. Very, very good stat lines on these guys. Like, not the best damage in the world, but 33,000 health at a level 2. 
It's kind of mental. Sandworms come down for Rooster. I think I really like the idea behind this. I think it's fine. Uh, also with Sandstorm tech available. Like good frontline worm or like frontline-ish worm. Rushing down an aggro formation like this and then just dropping the Sandstorm. Can be really, really tight. Especially if you can combo something like this. Uh, sorry, uh, something like the Sandworms with like a Wraith Degeneration Aura. And then it's like Sandstorm. Degeneration Aura, just massive, massive debuffs on the entire enemy army. Can be kind of cool. Um, yeah. Additional chaff coming out. So Conclusion is just really, really doubling down on this one side. Nothing else really going on in the flanks just yet. A little surprised to not see Rooster maybe just drop like one unit of crawlers over here or something. Just to try and backstab. Not that it would help. With the uh, fire badges over on that side. Okay, man, the worms are actually not going to get that close. The worms kind of get eviscerated, I guess mostly by the level 2 marksmen. But also the level 2 trenchlers have pretty solid DPS. Their rate of fire is crazy as hell after all. And even the level 3 steel balls, not going to get to connect with the main blob of trenchlers. And here we go, man. This is what I mean, dude. Just three trenchlers being alive, 600 damage. The damage stacks up so fast. That's why this open is so good, man. You can snowball a lead so quickly with a uh, quick supply into tarantula drop. It's just nuts, man. Um, I'll tell you what, man. For blue, I really, really like range specialist here. I really, really like range specialist. Senior defense is okay as well, but I think ranged is just great. Tarantulas don't have the best range in the world, and so if you're going to build them to be like your ground carry unit, um, I think it's just pretty solid. Also, like, blue is so far ahead, right? Conclusion so far ahead, you can afford to have, like, a slow round. Uh, I think it's totally fine. Uh, meanwhile, we actually do see the Wraiths come out for Rooster, but instead of going into Degeneration Beam, he goes into Range Enhancement. Ooh. Ooh, I tell you what. That's interesting. Let's see how this goes. I might go back after this replay is done. And replay this round and see how different it could have been with the Degeneration Beam instead. Could we cool little experiment, man, just to see how things would go, you know? Um, oh my god, okay. Mechanical Rage actually comes out on the Tarantula, so now that rate of fire is just absolutely unbelievable. And as such, these worms are gonna... Dude, they're gonna melt like crazy. The Maximum obviously helping out with a couple of pot shots there as well, but dude, I love the rate of fire on these guys once they get gone. Oh my god. It is brutal. The Wraiths do a pretty good job of killing off the uh, Crawlers. That said, just no firepower still in the tank. You know, it might just be the Sandworms that are really, like, they're not, they're not really performing for uh, Rooster. What did we go last round? Oh, wow. Okay, so Conclusion actually skipped on the uh, card pick last round. He goes for the Battleship this time, so I'm guessing that's going to flank somewhere. Um, oh, Rooster went for the Improved Sandworm. I actually totally missed that, which does explain... As to why he's put so much faith in the Sandworms. He's going for the Mech Ridge. Just try and something out by the looks of it. Ooh. Yeah, I wonder if picking up the Sandstorm. Sandstorm and Degeneration Beam on round 5. Would that have swung things? Would that have made a big difference? Would it have done anything? Maybe we'll find out at the end of this, man. Okay. Meanwhile, bam. Big aerial specialization coming out from the Marksman. That's quite devastating. That's quite devastating. So Sandstorm does come out now on three lots of Sandworms. Pretty spooky stuff. I mean, we've got to see if these flanks all make it off, I suppose. I'll leave the camera zoomed out uh, for this round. But okay. The three level two Tarantulas. Looking spooky, man. Eyes up at top. Will the flank make it through? Yeah, it will. It will. It's only a matter of time till that building drops up on top now. Okay, so the sandstorms do come out as well. Nerfs the range of the trenches down to 45 meters, but honestly, it doesn't even matter that much. As soon as the building dies, the sandworms are going to very, very quickly follow, indeed. And all of a sudden, there's just a few sniper units. Ah, uh, phoenixes, rather, and wraiths left alive. And so that's basically going to be it. Okay, man. That's basically going to be it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and skip back to round five now. And just see how this goes. Um, who, who can I take over? Okay, yeah, I take over Rooster. I've never actually used this tool before, man. Okay, so we get the card selection right now. Um, what would I actually go here? Do we have the Wraiths on field already? We do not. 
Okay. Okay. Let's see if this would work, man. We go ahead, sell these neds, I think. We'll sell them if we need to. If we go, like, double wraith, sell these guys, and instead of the range, we now go degeneration. Slam these guys in like so. We don't want them to get targeted instantly by the maximum is the only thing. I do just wonder if this would be enough. We'll just go ahead and load in with more crawlers. More follow-up crawlers, man. Okay. Let's see how this would have went, man, with the, uh, with the blah, degeneration aura instead. Would it have made all that much of a difference? It's going to get the sandworms in. It will also keep the sandworms alive just that little bit longer. Ooh. Ooh. So the sandworm finds a bit more purchase on the right side. It's not making all that much of a difference. Yeah, not making all that much of a difference. It's basically just the same outcome. Well, I would have been destroyed as well. Okay, man. And all right, man. Here we go. So obviously I'm playing as blue and I am playing some elite specialist as you can maybe tell by the blue crawlers over here. So not a crazy aggro opener by any stretch, just a few packs of crawlers on the back line. Uh, we also got one maxman in there as well, just because I thought I might need some extra help at killing off the steel balls and the acolytes over here. And of course we're running the tarantulas just slightly kind of like in the middle-ish uh, of the map too. And my plan with these guys, as you can probably tell by the text that I picked up on these, is just to maybe look at going, ooh, a little bit of armor piercing bullet action, a little bit of range enhancement action, and maybe a little bit of mech rage as well. And just, um, yeah, see what they can do as kind of like a middle of the park uh, sort of positioned carry style unit, really. Um, I'm also going to be leaning into the maximum just a little bit to make sure that I don't get caught without any air. Uh, sorry, anti-air. Because uh, obviously I'm not running anti-air ammunition on these bloody spiders, okay? All right, man. So, we do also see improved firepower control system come along. It's still, a, even after the nerf, I think that 70% 70, uh, 70 attack increase is still very, very good, to be honest, for the cost of uh, improved firepower control system, especially on a unit that's kind of mid-range, like a tarantula. Still makes a hell of a lot of sense. And I also go ahead here, pick up an additional maximum as well. Meanwhile, our opponent, as you can well see, Goes ahead and picks up a Tarantula of his own and instantly ranks it up. So it just so happens that I went ahead and put the improved firepower control on the wrong spider. Uh, it would have made much, much more sense to go on this guy. But all well is what it is. Speed things along. Drop a missile over here just to help myself out a little bit against this side. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Let's see how it goes, shall we? So, as you're going to see against these steel balls over here, as soon as this guy gets to start connecting... Uh, on the steel balls. It's just going to eviscerate the hell out of them with the help. Well, I mean, the maximum's obviously helping out too, but its damage with the improved firepower control is just saucy. That's all I'm trying to say, okay? Somehow, one of our nerds, our tarantula on this side, actually lives with like zero health, which is great. Let's just pick up a little bit of extra experience. And Pawn Top is upset about life. All right, man. Do I lose a round in this game? I honestly can't remember, which is ridiculous because I played it like an hour ago. Oh, yeah. So I really thought long and hard about what I'm going to pick up here. Normally you think, well, fire badges, obviously, right? Uh, Pontop actually does go for that. Why am I red on this but blue in the game? Well, screw it. Um, I was also looking at the Sabertooth. Like, okay, if he's going to go heavy into the Tarantulas, having a Sabertooth that can just one-shot his Tarantulas could be pretty important as well. Um, but then at the same time, I was worried about him going flanking Rhinos. And if he goes triple Rhino and I've only got one Sabertooth, and a couple of tarantulas. I might really struggle to take down the rhinos. So I thought it was quite likely he went rhino or fire badger. Is the conclusion I came to. So I think, dude, I'm going to go the rhinos myself. And just be an absolute menace, okay? Because he's exposed on both of his flanks. And I even see a spot in the middle here where there's just no chaff. Um, and I'm trying to position this rhino so it doesn't pull this tarantula. Uh, so I move it back just a little bit here. I'm just wiggling it around just a little. Um, and yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, that tarantula was just purchased. Never mind, I had no idea that this tarantula was going to be there. Was it just look of the draw that I didn't... Screw it, I don't even know. Whatever, man. I was trying to position this uh, this rhino so that it runs straight up into this arc light and um, doesn't attract too much attention from the side. That's the long and short of it, right? Um, meanwhile, we also level two our tarantula over here. Doing great, doing awesome. Precautionary missile on this side, because again, I'm a bit worried about the rhinos coming out. But he goes for the fire badges in the end, which is fine by us. Um, yeah. 
Meanwhile, the Rhinos in the back line are also going to find amazing purchase, and it's just a matter of time until uh, we get his buildings down. So I'm just hoping that my two Tarantulas here and here are going to survive until the buildings die. As long as they live, they're going to get so much experience just clapping all kinds of cheeks over here, as you can see. Same thing on this side. Our Tarantula on this side is also going to pick up some Fire Badger kills and wind his way towards rank 2, which is just... It, it, it's just stupendous. It's just beautiful. It's succulent. It's silky. And I love it. Okay, I'm excited. Um, I'm already planning on selling off the Rhinos, obviously, one by one uh, at this point in time. I think this is the round where I make a major, major mistake, by the way. It's just embarrassing, frankly. Uh, I saw Mobile Beacon. I had a bit of a think about this. Eh, decided to skip in the end. Um, so I upgraded Tarantula here. I purchased the Cell Beacon. I think I sell this guy. Um, because I like how this guy is at least pulling one Fire Badger away. So yeah, we sell over here. Then I'm planning on buying another Tarantula. And then... Wait for it. Any second now. Speeding this up just a little bit. And I buy a Rhino because I'm a bloody idiot. Okay, I'm just a moron. It's, it's, this is the worst replay I've ever uploaded. I can't believe it. Feels really quite bad. Um, yeah, I did not mean to purchase this Rhino. I was confused for a moment and then upset. Uh, but I try not to let the tilt get to me, okay? I also pick up a couple of extra maxmen because it occurs to me that I've only got two anti-air units on my entire army. So I decided to grab some more maxmen as well. Just in case he goes into some kind of giant unit uh, drop to try and surprise me. Um, or goes more tarantulas, you know? Or even just air units. I also placed the rhino just here. I wanted to arrive just after the crawlers and maybe get to attack this nerd. Um, is the plan I'm going for. Of course, he's also picked up a lot of steel balls right now as well. Just to counter my uh, rhino flanks. Which is fine. I'm, I'm, I'm planning on selling those guys off. Luckily, this rank 2 rhino actually gets like an okay amount done. Even if I'm like totally planning on selling the guy. It doesn't do the worst, you know, before the uh, steel balls come along and clean house. Meanwhile, look at this rank 2 nerd over here, dude. Improved firepower control. These steel balls think they're going to get to connect. Ain't going to happen. Just absolutely mowed down. Like a dog. Like a coward. Beautiful. Love it. Oi, oi, oi. Poor upon top, man. I don't mean to poke foot upon top, man. It was actually... I mean, I hope he... I hope he, I hope he enjoyed the game, too, genuinely. Now, he does actually get extended range steel ball here, which made me poop a little bit. Ah, some delicious coffee. Okay, man. Yeah, so he gets extended range steel ball. I'm a bit nervous about this. I'm pretty sure this is the round where I go into range enhancement on a couple of balls. We also sold our Rhino up there just now in order to fund this endeavor. Uh, and yeah, I'm like 99% sure that I've got to worry about the steel balls now, right? So that's why we're going to range on the tarantulas. I'm just trying to stay ahead of him uh, on range at this point. And I spend a little bit of time here kind of nudging the positioning of the uh, tarantulas that I'm placing on the flanks. I place one here and one here. I think I back them up just a little bit further. Yeah, just a little bit further. I'm really, really worried about these guys coming in and just creating a ruckus. I've got... I've got, These crawlers have got to get in, right? Before the steel balls connect here. So, I like, I'm, I'm just trying to get that positioning as perfect as I possibly can. This rhino in the middle is on the sell list, but we'll get to him eventually. I've got a lot, I've got an extra rhino to sell off now because I'm so terrible at the video game. Um, which isn't great. Uh, also, I've got 250 supply left to spend here. I think I'm that concerned about steel ball upgrades coming out and just wrecking my face. Is this the round where I place a missile here? Yes, it is. Okay, lovely. I might also purchase range. Yeah, enhanced range, man. I'm just trying to keep my range on my tarantulas just ahead of my of my uh, steel ball nemesis, man. So he also goes into mine deployment on the tarantulas. I can only imagine that he's just mucking around with the unit at this point, seeing how each tech feels. I don't feel like it's very effective, man, to be honest. The mines, I don't know, they can explode your own chaff as well. They can explode each other. So if you build too many of them, it's, it becomes like exponentially worse. <laughs> Like, I don't know, man. It's one of the only techs in the game where it runs a real risk of becoming exponentially worse the more of a unit you build with that tech. You know, it's kind of crazy. Um, usually it works absolutely the opposite. But as you can see, my tarantulas managed to outrange his steel balls. They have a really, really good pork battle. I think it might be next round. It's crazy as hell. Uh, super, super tight. I'm just spoiling the replay at this point. But uh, yeah, good XP on a lot of the tarantulas. We get a level 3 on one of them, which is great. 
Uh, I think I just go for the amplifying core here. I'm just interested in just buffing up my guys now. I think I smack it on this guy. Or maybe it's this guy. Okay, it's this guy. Fair enough. Um, my field recovery. Yeah, we do sell the level two. And so there it is, dude. Mech Ridge. I was very, very tempted here with my remaining supply to just go straight into ammo piecing bullets. Um, but I was quite scared of the fact, uh, sorry, of the potential of uh, units coming down. I still only have four maxmen. I think I go into maxman range here. Honestly, can't quite remember. <laughs> Honestly, can't quite recall. What I did notice last round is that the fangs on this right side bought me a lot of time as like slow arriving chaff to protect this guy. Um, and we're going to actually see that again happen just here. So you can see I I put it, these are almost like fourth wave arrival chaff because the fangs are so slow, right? They're going to arrive so, so slowly that I'm able to um, plonk them down right here and they just kind of creep in to stay ahead of this guy and it become it's it's so so crucial man i can't stress how important it is if you're a new player watching this how important it is to have like third and fourth wave arrivals uh of your chaff okay so nothing else is going on in the flanks anymore and all right man let's just do it i suppose enough rambling he actually goes into fortresses right here as well one of them with steel ball production and so he just has a lot of super high range steel balls thankfully for me he does not hit the enhanced range button Maybe I'll go back and test that round and see if Enhanced Range would have made that big of a difference for him. That would be quite interesting to see, to be honest. Um, but anyways, yeah, as you can see, the Steel Ball Range is quite scary. But look at this dude. Even with the Amplifying Core's Level 3 Tarantula, it just gets absolutely gunned down by my Mech Rage Tarantulas. Feeling really, really good. Same thing on this side as well. Just the firepower over here is getting to be unbelievable. And here comes the late arriving Fangs that I was talking about, man. Same thing on this side too. And look at the impact they have. Look at this. They buy me so much time, dude. It's absolutely insane. Setting us up for the final poke battle over here on this right side. Between Super Giga Range Steel Balls. Goddamn Fortress. Oh, it's so, so close, dude. Oh, my God. Do both of them live? Okay, actually, both of them live. That surprised even me. Oh, my God. Those late arriving fangs. Pretty clutch. Okay, pretty clutch. All right, man. So we have commandeered Pond Hop's board here. This is exactly the layout of units and purchases that he made. The only difference that we've made here is that instead of going into defense enhancement right away, uh, we went into field recovery instead. I just wonder if we sold these fire badges here, which frankly, just not doing a whole lot, I feel. I'll sell these guys. Then we go ahead, we buy the defense enhancement, so... This is back to what Pond Hop did. And the only difference is we sell these guys and we get enhanced range instead. Two, like one very, very small difference, right? Trading out the fire badges for enhanced range. Let's see how much of a difference that may or may not uh, make in this kind of situation, man. Shall be interesting to see. Should keep the fortresses and the steel balls safer for a longer time. Should also maybe get a bit more value out of the fire badges that do exist. We're still going to have the same problem with my late arriving chaff on, uh, on the red side over here, of course. But it'll just be interesting to see, man. What kind of difference does an enhanced range really make in a scenario like this? Steel balls. Still stuck hitting fangs for now. They're going to get a huge connection over here, finally. Oi, 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 oi. It's still going to be the L, though. Still going to be an L. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So it wouldn't have made a whole lot of difference, but there you go, man. It's really, really cool that we can at least try things like this out. You know what I'm saying? All right, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all are enjoying the Tarantula as much as I am, to be honest. It's kind of surprised me uh, how powerful it now feels in live games against other players versus just testing uh, on the beta servers. Upload your carry Tarantula memes in the Share Your Replay channel of the official Mercabellum Discord, which, as always, is linked down below, man, in the pinned comment and in the video description. So, thanks for watching, guys. Do enjoy the rest of your night. I'm going to catch all of you all just a tad bit later, man.